Okay. Uh, let's see. So I think we're done. What we might be able to do more me? of this if we wanted to, but we also don't have to. Return soon, yes? Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I think we're good. I guess... Nope. Oh, hi. I guess I want to talk to Karai. I hope you enjoyed your first job. Cast spoke highly of you. Well, he did not outright speak poorly of you, which for Cast means a great deal. The items you procure should be exchanged with Faustus for markers. In addition to allowing entry onto ring premises, markers can be redeemed with the residents of the ring for various goods and services, including blueprints. Please do not hesitate to speak to me if you need further elucidation. I suggest you return to your ordinary duties, whatever they may be, until another contract crosses your path. Hmm. Let's see. Is... is plus 11 mm -hmm. dexterity worth plus 3 armor? I... so dexterity gets you accuracy and evasion. Probably dexterity. I don't know what, how armor works. Yeah, I just have some slightly, like, lower armor gloves that are yellow, so they have a bunch of other magic stuff. I most of it... would go for the <laughs> yellows, especially considering how easy this has been. Yeah. How can I help? Hmm. What is valuable to you or I Accuracy rating won't affect my magic damage, though, right? Where you see a worth I don't think so. I don't know how much you can... I know accuracy used to matter a great deal more. That's that's it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna work back to the prison. If you go talk to the gondolier, gondolier, he'll take you there. Because I think we have to find more contracts while we're just out and about in the world. Oh, we we can just buy them, can't we? Uh, could we? I thought there was someone who sold them. Maybe not. Maybe I just imagined that earlier. Let's see, the gondolier. Yep, and then you just go back to the prison. The person down. Back to the prison. Yeah, I mean, I guess if stuff gets hard, we just go do some heists and whatnot. Yep. I. That's kind of where I'm at. I feel like it's just a good way of breaking up the... Well, I was going to say the modality of gameplay, but it's the same gameplay no matter what. It's just the question of... <laughs> I'm all do about... Do you want NPCs yelling at you because somehow the heist went wrong? <laughs> which it didn't. But... Were there any negative repercussions to setting the heist meter to maximum? Nope. You just have to fight more people, Not to right? my knowledge. Like, I, I think that's just kind of how it's supposed to work. Hopefully, they just get used to it after a while. You know, it's just like, oh, yep, that was alarmed. Cool. Can we go I, now? I guess what I'm wondering is, <laughs> in Diablo, you're trying to, like, clean up the mess that the world is, like, in. Yes. But in Path of Exile... Are you just, are you just some guy out for himself? Like, is this, okay, is this just so, pure selfishness? This is part of the reason why I try and listen to the NPCs a little bit. But effectively, we are like an exiled prisoner of sorts that was on a prison ship that crashed. And apparently there's this giant population that's just been, well, not giant population, but a growing population that's just been exiled here repeatedly. But meanwhile, there's this empty empire of a sort that's been crumbling all around you and so we're kind of running around in the midst of the ruins of that and a lot of people who lived there went insane and there's like nefarious forces that are trying to drag it down further uh, there, there's straight up like an audio log later where effectively people talk about growing paranoia and then eventually just starting to tear each other apart 
save for a couple of people who seem unaffected. Um, hmm. And it turns out that there's this, like, dude that is... Gosh. There's this near-immortal dude that's been specifically trying to uh, make things worse for some reason. I think because he's, like, crazy or a demon worshiper. Or just a demon. Uh, that's about where the plot ends. But at some point, we kill the sun <laughs> and we have to go get it back. I like to interpret as in the, the plot the ends goddess, in that, like, where they stopped trying. <laughs> like, alright, well, that's a wrap, guys. <laughs> it's past. just the big bad the here, you know? Ahead offer you both freedom and glory. The future is yours if you're bold enough to reach out for it. Yeah, the spikes hurt. Are we supposed to be... Is this just, like bad loot like so this is the trial of ascendancy it's like this will be a later section on how we oh i guess that are we just loops through so <laughs> is there stuff there there appears uh, to be something right it was a switch that i flipped and then there's oh, some okay. dudes up here i don't know what this is but this is to unlock the trials of ascendancy which is i think how we get our specialized class or effectively later on there's a puzzle dungeon that we can g go into uh, that has mechanics kind of similar to this. Ow. And so this is kind of a, a preparation for that, but also a... Let's see. Let's see, this is a preparation for, for that, and also... Oh, I guess I only need one of these. Belief is the strongest metal of them all. I guess also just to unlock it? I don't know. I, I only did it once, and it absolutely destroyed me. So, I can't really tell you what's at the end of it. Maybe I did beat it. Oh, I hit that portal, and it just teleported me back. Was that what I yep. was supposed to do? That's what I did. Okay. Where are you now? Where'd you go? You Running around. Back. Yep. Hey, don't forget to use your Quicksilver flask. Ah, uh, but I got a horde potions. Yeah, I know. I do the same thing. I say that mostly for my own benefit because I forget easy. <laughs> well, I was thinking in terms of, I think something I'd ran into recently was I've gotten more comfortable with using items in games that it used to be a thing to hoard, you know, just yep. in case you ever needed them. But then a lot of games, like, didn't really reward you for it. But then the game For the King absolutely does. Like, you really want to, like, never use those healing items if you can, like, avoid it. Like, you want, like, as many of those as possible for the end game. And I don't know. It was, it was kind of odd and, like, unintuitive that that was, like... One of the few? I... Yeah. <laughs> I will admit that was kind of my experience with For the King. It's like, this is weird. I get it. Did you, did you think it was a hard game? Were you playing it on the easiest difficulty? I, or did you I played one? it before they had difficulty settings. So uh, I can't right, tell you. It just changed a bunch. That's right. Because one of them was like, the chaos meter was just going like out of control because like someone had died and like... Yes. So... Uh, I, I remember very distinctly being like, man, this chaos meter is just some kind of garbage, and I don't like it. Well, they listened. It's still there, yeah. but it's very different. That's good. Yeah, I, I played it, and I played it on the easiest setting, and I don't know, I just, like, I never lost a character. Like, I gained a bunch of lives. The chaos just stayed at the, like, minimum the entire time. Like, it was just, like, nothing uh, was it... really a threat or a problem. It was definitely, like, panic level of, I should have to worry about, uh, I kind of am going to worry about this a bit. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I was watching it, and it seemed like a really different game, but I was wondering if, like, you felt that that was just, like, I'd have to tell you now, by, play, by playing the modern version, you know, what my impressions would be. But it, it okay. definitely felt punishing in a way that I didn't feel compelled to play more than one round. 
Yeah. Like that initial I mean, video. It was mostly funny because like the game kind of warns you at the beginning, like, hey, you're not supposed to be like, you're not supposed to win this. Like, don't feel disappointed if you lose. And then I just like, just kind of breezed through it. And I was like, hmm, okay, well, maybe they changed it or maybe just playing on the easiest setting kind of like undoes that particular concern. But I found myself Probably. thinking it takes like a long time to beat the game. Like, yep. Yeah, I mean, just I kind of in terms of roguelikes, it was like eight hours. Like, I have that problem with a number of roguelikes where the ones that are designed to be played over the course of five, 10, 15 hours, it's very difficult for me to come back for a subsequent playthrough because I'm not going to enjoy that subsequent playthrough as much. Yeah. Uh, and I guess I wonder, like an FTL you can lose in like an hour and a half and you can feel good about losing. Do you not yeah. come back to it just because you're only ever going to devote 10 hours to the game? Or is it because you like don't gain utility out of like retrying stuff when the cost is so large? Uh, I think it's I think it's definitely when the cost is so large. Uh, take, take a roguelike takes 10 hours to beat. You died hour eight. Do you really want to go back for another subsequent 10 hour playthrough immediately? Most of the time, no. Maybe <laughs> maybe some people do, and you know this is too broad of a generalization. But yeah. compare that to another roguelike I've been playing recently, Hades. Every run is an hour long maximum, and mm. admittedly it's a little longer just because I I'm kind of slow. But if you want to go quick, like you can get those runs done in not too much time. Yeah. And what do you think so, makes it more replayable for having like such a period of time in the game? I because I feel like a lot of length is just bloat after a certain point. You know, in, in FTL, for example, you could have half the battles twice the loot. You know, just speed up the loot scale a little bit, and it ultimately wouldn't feel like too different of a game. The main thing you would lose is that feeling of of the journey and kind of the the slow deterioration of your ship, and so <laughs> it would be much yeah. more just kind of immediate. Oh shoot, I'm exploding. Uh, for better or worse, better and worse, I don't know. Uh, but that yeah, you absolutely could just have a FTL rebalance that is faster. And the main thing you would lose is that that feeling of deterioration, uh, but the core gameplay loop would probably be preserved, at least to some degree. Uh, but that I find for a lot of roguelikes that are eight hours long, the content there doesn't actually, there isn't enough content to justify that eight hours for a subsequent eight hours anytime soon. And so, you know, I'll come back for maybe a subsequent playthrough in a couple of years. Uh, same thing like this game, for example. But so I, I recently beat a game called Star Renegades. A uh, new roguelike came out really good, but it took 10 episodes for me to beat one run. And it'll probably get faster as I do it just because there's some light meta progression and some things you unlock and, and you know, just I get better at the game. But yeah. That's still a good five hours to beat one run. And and admittedly, this is a very personal thing to some degree of... I just have so many other games that I've, I've got on my to-do list that if I can get that win within, you know, ten episodes, it's kind of nice to just stop there. Yeah. Yeah, and that makes sense. Feel good about stopping there as opposed to being like, okay... Now let's do another run and another run and another run. And after a while, that's, you know, 30 hours of my life that I could have spent maybe working on something else instead. That makes sense. I don't know. I what about just... you? Because you you've been <laughs> yeah. pushing a little bit of uh, For the King, which oh, that, I think that I'd be amenable to. to. I, I must say I was just wondering, like... Because I suggested a few options, and you were like, "No, nah, I mean, just wait a couple weeks for Path of Exile." It's like, "Oh, you know, is he busy? Like, does he just hate well, all these games?" Like, <laughs> uh, I just needed specifically that week. I just needed kind of some time to sit down and focus only on my own thing. Uh, yeah. 
That's fine. I actually, I, I didn't mind. I, I certainly wasn't offended. I was mostly yeah. just like, <laughs> well, yeah. I was mostly just wondering because it, it be... felt like Magicka two or like for the king would both be fun options. So. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I just, I, I've always been, I've always wanted to do a complete quote unquote series on bunker. Uh, I've always wanted to do a complete series on Path of Exile, and I've never succeeded. I had, like, mm. a partial series that stopped a while back. I and... have the down over here, by the way. Yep. Yeah, I just found one of the, uh, the caches, so we have another contract next time we hit town. Oh, good. I suppose we need to make sure we don't miss, like, Brutus. Curious. Yeah, it moves we won't. Like a killer, yet okay. Reeks of this is I wasn't sure where the plot kind of starts, game. by the way. You more closely, my mysterious Brutus? Not Brutus, the lady. Piety. Oh. That was just talking Did... at us. Brutus himself oh, I just... is... I just ran nothing. right by... Is she somewhere? Uh, She talks for a little bit. Oh, she's uh, up there. Yeah. A killer yet reeks of thaumaturgy. Well, that I could observe you more closely, my mysterious shadow. So we're effectively accidentally chasing this woman, and she's doing not good stuff. She converted the the jailer Brutus into kind of weird demon monster. Um, using thaumaturgy? So I, he I was think? like maybe an all right guy? No, he was not an all right guy, but he was a guy before he became a horror guy. Because I think she, oh. it's effectively like she turned him into a flesh golem. Still the Karui barbarians advance upon Great. us. Here. Lina is dead. His All but you're like, it's fine, you got this, right? Read this, read this journal, because like... Lina's watch the foot of our axiom. Should the need arise, we shall retreat through prison's gate, raising my barricade behind us. Yet our salvation is at Because this is important plot. Foul times yeah. demand heroic deeds. And through my arts, our Lord Brutus will arise anew to defend us. May the dry sands quench their thirst with Karui blood when our mighty warden delivers his judgment upon them. So we're the barbarians? No, the Kari Barbarians are the... I don't actually even know if they were the natives. But, no, we, we're we the exiles. Okay. As in, you know, Path of you know, Exile, Har. We were just the ones advancing on them, so I thought maybe... Yeah. Maybe that was just us. Uh, I think to some degree, that's sort of just us. Okay. Just had to quickly grab two nodes. I haven't leveled up in a little while. All right, yeah, I was doing that too. I'll take some tank points, right? <laughs> That's what I was doing. Are we on the same path? Are we just doing the same thing? Uh, No, I don't think so. Because I, I started going down my dex tree. You went down your blue tree. That said, we might yeah. be converging. Because uh, I, I went right from the... Uh, I went right, and then I'm going up. So I'm heading in. I'm going into your turf. <laughs> right, so you're gonna play through all ten acts. I did ideally, yes. Plus maybe a little bit of endgame content, but not, not too much. How many? Uh, how many hours is this game? Uh, uh, twenty hours, give or take. Another journal oh, okay. here. Twenty acts. That's. My loyalty. No, ten acts, twenty hours. Give our lady piety yeah, yeah. Absolute support and watch her with absolute scrutiny. There is much to learn from the likes of the Inquisitor, the Umbra, and the Soulless One. I would hate for piety to feel that she needs shoulder such perilous wisdom alone. Dominus. Dominus. Yep. All right. Go up down. through the door to the warden's chambers. Your sentence is death. All right. You've got it covered, Probably right? Shouldn't stand in the oh, middle. Wait, of I that. remember this guy. Yeah. All you need to do is cast Frost Shock to win. Ow. Unfortunately, I do not have my durability buffs. 
Are you dying? Uh, I don't have any more. Wait, no, I, I still have healing potions. Whoops. He's got some pretty strong tells. So I find I just kind of run away some. Yeah, I just ran out of my Big just means more places to stick healing a blade. potion. Uh, Goat's horn. Primatus staff. Silken vest. Oiled vest. Do I pick up yellow stuff to sell? Is that just a yeah. thing? Yeah, yellow stuff sells better than than blue. I feel like there might be. Yeah, so I just use. looked it up. It's twenty five to thirty hours. Okay, so that's fine. You know, two months of brawl op sessions, give or take, depends on how fast we are. Once our builds get going, I think it'll get a lot faster. I mean, it's already pretty fast. Let's see. I'm very glad I don't have to allocate stat points into strength, dexterity, intelligence, health, <laughs> and so on and so forth. I was okay in Diablo, but it was like... I don't know. I like the talent tree system. I know a lot of people are like... They, they see it, and they just immediately kind of freeze up and don't want it, anything to do with it. Uh, let's see. Just looking at your stats? Yeah, just figuring out how to... how to do stuff. Ah. Uh. I have something that's plus 20% cold damage. <laughs> but I don't do cold damage. Where did my shock go, though? <laughs> I've misplaced it. Oh, no. Frost blink. Wait. <laughs> Wait, where did it go? I put it somewhere. You missing a skill gem? <laughs> I just, it's somewhere in my inventory. My inventory just has a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> That's part of the reason why I stopped picking up as much of the, uh, just the random trash, it's like, I don't actually know if I need any of this. I should probably actually hit the record button. Okay, so he walked outside, I worked with him, that's about all that happened. It, losing my internet is fun. We're having a lot of thunderstorms around here, uh, which is super oh, is unusual. That what's going on? Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't, uh, some little, some little blips here and there. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yep. Let's see. So you're still working on your equipment and skills? Oh, I, yeah, I just have a skill called Frost Blink, and I was just curious what it did. It lives. You just... Let's see what else it... You know, gotta know what the stuff does. She closed the door on us. Jerk. We're supposed to just follow her th through the gate. But yeah, uh, Frost Blink just warps you forward and leaves an icy patch on the ground. It looked I like remember you it. also had it. Yeah. It seems Good to do getting around. a good amount of damage. Yep. If I remember, I, I've seen a couple of builds that are very much like based off of just blinking forward and doing a bunch of damage and exploding in such a way that everything just around you dies. Oh. Kind of like just dunking something. Yep. So question. Uh, I know I ended up with some bad habits as a result of this, but I'm using a flamethrower type spell that is 
fairly high in mana cost, and, you know, you just sit there using it. Do you have any weird habits like that, where you refuse to use flamethrowers in video games, flamethrower spells, uh... As a result of... Sustainability... Yeah, as, as a result of... Because you were talking about conserving resources, and so I always had a lot of trouble specifically with... Uh, flamethrower or high volume things. Uh, so machine guns or heavy machine guns in a video game. Something that shoots huh. through a lot of ammo. I yeah. Don't Do you use remember those. Armored Core? Yes. <laughs> Do you remember the flamethrower? Do you remember trying to like play the actual game and getting it was fed miserable. Up with it and just playing the like the arena where you didn't arena. have any repair costs, got a lot of money, unlocked a lot of parts. And got most of the experience of the game, just not all of it. I think what was funny was, like, after getting all this sweet gear in the arena, we go back and we're like, yeah, let's do a mission. And, like, just, like, took no damage. And just the shooting the gun cost more money than the mission, like, paid you. Yep. I, <laughs> it was like, I, when does this change? And the answer was, play the game with, like, the cheapest mech possible and just, like... It wasn't that hard, and you could get through most of the game that way. <laughs> Ooh. But no, never make the, Never improve the mech, because then it'll cost more to repair. <laughs> never Ow. improve the gun, because it'll cost more to shoot. Yeah, that was a game that had a lot of really interesting potential. Just that one poor game design choice to make everything cost so much money. And I, I'm sure for the regular players that are used to Armored Core, it's, like, not even an issue. But from I, my perspective... So is that a big franchise? Was that, like... like uh, that's made by the same people that make Dark Souls. Oh, boy. Yeah. So yeah. Just get good. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, like... There we go. That, that wasn't a sequel, right? Uh, that was Armored Core 3, so yes, it was. Oh, it was. Okay, so somebody, yeah. like, might have already known how to... I think the main thing about it, though, is it kept you from wanting to, like, try stuff that much. Yeah. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't sympathetic to, like, kind of the exploration in the game. Which, for giving so much, like, versed giving so much flexibility and, like, customizability yeah. to, like, discourage... Yeah, for the amount of was, options like, that you were given... Yeah. I played a number of games like that where to experience everything you would have to spend a lot of time, energy, or like in game currency just to unlock even half of it. Yeah. I mean, I think I understand, like, I understand why some people include that. I mean, I think we've discussed it a little bit as like one of our mutual friends at high school who said he liked the grind and if a game didn't have a good grind in it then he wasn't really interested in playing it and you know i i think probably that is a market audience that is should not be discounted it has to be good grind though that's my thing and so for that one the grind is kind of an issue cuz you're constantly being dinged down monetarily and so maybe Yeah, that's a good point. There's not monotonic progress. Yeah. Okay. I'm usually the one making yeah, the ghosts. Because that makes Someone's it more of a resource busy. management game, which I think I think I'm okay with resource management games, but I think part of it was armored core. The missions were all kind of one time. Yeah. It became a very like punishing form of resource management. And yeah, the optimal play was to not use a lot of the options available. So I, I worked back to town with the waypoint. Okay. Gonna talk to the three NPCs. For some, death is welcomed with open arms. Did you end Brutus's suffering out of Is the gear I can buy in town slowly upgrading? Only you know the answer to that yes. one. Yes. Skills with your level. Okay. dwells in the caves cool. beyond the wrecks. So I should check to see if Cove. there's anything like reasonable. And we can only hope that she continues to return the favor. It's kind of hoping for some stuff with Farewell. a little bit more blue slots. Welcome. See you soon. Oh, because I've got a. Stitched with blue thread. 
A swift boot covers great distances. The Warden's free of his own prison? Well, since you're so bloody determined to cheat the Britches off death, you'd better have one of these. For luck. And when they write the song about you, just be sure to mention that it was Tarkley who taught you everything you know. Essence? Oh, I'm looking for Essence Train. I don't think I have that yet. <laughs> All these things increase my cold damage. Stay sharp out there. Okay. I'm good to go. I'm going to head back to Ship Graveyard, and I guess I'll just wait for you there. Let's see. There we go. I suppose I'm probably not likely to find anything really that much better than what I have equipped. Yeah, I honestly would not think too hard about. Yeah, let me just spend a skill point and then I'll be ready. Yeah, because from my perspective, oh, right, I should probably actually come back and sell things real quick. Because I realize I have things in my inventory I don't need. Uh, but I, I'm not spending a whole lot of time mm -hmm. looking at stuff. If things get hard, obviously I'll need to care more. Uh, but I've only run into one enemy that was even remotely close to scary. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you mean the fawn, right? No. The, fa the most terrifying. <laughs> I ran away from the fawn mostly because I didn't want to fight it without you. Whoops. Yeah, no, that's fair. Forgot. I think I'm just amused by it. Um, okay, inventory is clear. Yeah, no, I was running into a burning dog that had like a ton of HP or something, but I just lost a lot of HP and I did not have enough healing to compensate. And now I do. And at some point, I will actually care about loot and equipment. Once we actually start getting a lot more yellows, and it matters. But most of the equipment I'm getting is just whites or blues, and it's just... Eh, maybe if it's got the slots I need, but I I got the slots I need. <laughs> it's interesting to me that, like, plus 10 element percent elemental damage is not worth investing a skill point in in this. I think it is, but there's something that is quote-unquote greater later that is worth that extra point that you would have normally otherwise sunk that point into that many of the skill skills on the skill tree are so equal in measure that you really have to pick and choose where you allocate them even though you know that 10 percent elemental damage might actually be better in the i'd say not the short term but like better on paper yeah, no, I I think I I totally see that there's probably plenty of things like that. Um, Calm stands before us, and yeah, we're going back, the back there. Sea. He yep. sings, calls we're in the ship graveyard. Is that where we are? Yep. Ancestors to come to our aid. He offers them he said, talk, old, make sure I just a feast dealt with all the quests, and right? Mind, muscle and marrow, yeah. Cooked in the fire and rock of this angry land. We have not practiced these ways in so many hmm. years. Yeah, I think Only in, in terms of like of things times, that I avoid, I think one of the times of times is I never really liked the Inferno spell in Diablo 2 because you had to stand still during it. And, and it made your character own. like move through the level Only much less quickly, even if it did a lot of damage. 
than like being able to cast something like Blizzard and then like move in between it. So it made you a lot more like vulnerable and it just kind of wasn't as fast for like running through the game. That's a good point actually. Um, so yeah, I think like there were some circumstances where it was actually quite good for like fighting a single boss, but for like needing to kite or like really hard stuff or yeah, they were just like, yeah. Frankly, I would have been surprised. So you're just skipping you all the dialogue that we go by. Me. Oh. Yes, tis I, Captain Was it good? Fairgrades, <laughs> wave tamer, pirate <laughs> and conveyor of civilization to barbaric lands. So, what am I doing here? Apart from blowing my own bugle? In the trash. I'm marooned, languishing, thanks to a pair of pretty blue eyes. Stuck fast yeah, in the filthy mud of Raycraft, thanks to one sultry little slave girl. I liberated her from the flesh pits of Trathos, and she repaid me in full with sleight of hand and swift feet. Turned the coat of my first mate, took my heart Are you reading all of flame, it? and with it... Well, he reads it out for it. The voice acting is really good. Uh, Find yeah. my all flame, I beg of you. Till I feel its warmth again, I'm trapped here, high and dry, until the sun's final setting. Farewell, farewell. Just I will admit, a, moment to catch a lot of the a lot of the dialogue I do just kind of check out on, so I can kind of understand why you just skip past it. Yeah, I guess it hasn't engaged me yet as a story. Maybe I should like. <laughs> I'm not going that's to. My own you fault. Don't... Yeah. <laughs> like if I don't read it, I'm never gonna get engaged. But like I admit that's like part of what happened I looked at the cover there. of the book and I thought the plot was stupid. Well, but now I'm like, I'm I'm currently <laughs> reading the book for the pictures, right? That's what's happening right now. <laughs> I'm. Yeah. It's like I've I've opened up my Dungeons and Dragons book and I'm looking at the art, but I'm not actually like trying to understand any of it. I I definitely have done that. I did that with Lancer. I haven't actually really bothered to learn the rules uh, because I want them to be fresh when I do. Uh, mm, for what? Yeah. The inevitable campaign. The the mech combat is very technical, and you probably would need to refresh yourself on it. We're going down, right? Yeah.